Hi, I'm Pandora Pappas, and I pulled a card of the day for us today. It's an affirmation, and it's from the deck Here and Now, 40 Affirmations to Anchor Your Awareness in the Present Moment. I created this deck, and here's our affirmation. I am fully present in this moment, embracing all it has to offer. When we focus our attention in this moment, What we do is we filter out all of the distractions. We can more easily connect with our breath. We can more easily relax and center ourselves. And by being fully present in this moment, embracing all it has to offer, you turn down the volume on your stress and you turn down the volume on your inner critic, right? Now there is a card in this deck that I put on the upper left hand side of the screen. It's a reminder that a balanced life will assist you in staying present here in this moment now. And what I mean by balanced life is really looking at all of the different aspects. Sometimes the things that we overlook or think aren't that important, they really are. Sleep, for instance, if you're not getting enough sleep, your body doesn't get a chance to restore. Aromatherapy, you can use that before you go to sleep. You can have a really nice lavender mist that you use on your pillows or in your diffuser. Um, Drinking enough water, staying hydrated, you know, that's one that we hear all the time, but you might not necessarily associate it with mindfulness and being here in the present moment and reducing your stress level. But if your body isn't getting what it needs through water and nutrition, it's going to be more likely to attach to um, adrenaline and anxiety. So make sure that you're doing that. Stay present with your water. That's another way that you can actually check in with yourself in the moment. You can take a couple of sips of water, a couple of breaths, and anchor your awareness in the present moment. Now, I work with crystals a lot. Um, I do love all different kinds of stones, but I find that the ones that help me to calm down the most usually are associated with my heart chakra. So rose quartz, rhodochrosite, rhodonite. Um, There's a good stone for trauma and it's called thulite. So any sort of PTSD or trauma, emotional trauma that you have had, that would be a great crystal for you to work with as well. Um, And then there's the self-care piece on this card. Self-care doesn't only have to be a bubble bath, but hey, those are pretty fun. Self-care is also about filtering out the things that you're listening to and watching on a daily basis. Are you allowing negativity in? Are you allowing fear-based posts from people? You can filter what's coming into your eyes and ears and brain all the time. Now, love. It's important. You know, that's what we need in the present moment. We need to give love and receive love. And that can happen unconditionally. It can also happen non-verbally from our pets and our environment. So where are you exchanging love? Sometimes it's as simple as looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I love you. That's a wonderful way to stay present with love. Now, a little journaling never hurt anyone. Even if journaling may seem like it's a really big task, sometimes just having a piece of paper or a post-it note, it doesn't even have to be a whole journal book. It can be just something that you can scribble something down on and let you know how you were feeling what happened today, something very small, but journaling does help us stay in the present moment and help us with our awareness of how we're feeling and how we're existing in our bodies. And that final piece is exercise. I know you don't want to, it's okay. You can have a day where you don't want to, but exercise is sometimes even as simple as cleaning the house, getting up and moving around, turning on a song, dancing, going for a walk, Exercise can be anything from five minutes to five hours. It's all up to you, but it does help with our overall balance. So remember, I am fully present in this moment, embracing all it has to offer. You can work with that affirmation throughout the day and then check in with yourself before bed. Do you feel better 
by having this affirmation with you, by staying fully present in this moment, and by employing some of those things up there that we just talked about that can help you stay in balance. Sleep, aromatherapy, water, nutrition, exercise, self-care, a couple of crystals, maybe some journaling, and love. All right, I'm wishing you guys all the best. And if you want to find out more about this deck, you can go to my website, pandorap.com. And remember to like and follow and share if you feel inspired too, because I'm always posting fun stuff and things that can help you to move through a stuck moment so that you don't have to feel so stuck. Okay? All right, take care.